Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cates of Ren Schmidt. Congratulations Hi. on this movie. Thank you. How do you get involved with telling Hank Williams' story? Um, I actually was in a hotel room in Istanbul when my lovely agent sent me the script. Um, I read it in one sitting, um, and I have to say, knowing what they were, what they were looking, what role they were looking at me for. I kept thinking, like, when is she going to come into the film? Bobby Jett doesn't really enter in until maybe three quarters of the way through the film. But when she does, the story's really remarkable. Um, it's intense. And yeah, I read the script. I put myself on tape in a hotel room in Istanbul with a bunch of other actors. And a couple months later, they're like, you. You get to work with just some incredible talent from Bradley to Tom yeah. to Elizabeth. Working with that ensemble, what was it like? Well, most of my work was with Tom and Maddie Hassan, um, and they're both incredible actors. I mean, you can't really ask for a better team. And I got to work with Jerry Jones as well, and they're just so she's lovely. So brilliant. Yeah, yeah, she's so incredible. brilliant. Yeah, incredible. Couldn't have a better cast and a better team. When you look at Hank Williams, a really complicated guy, good, the bad, and the ugly, talk to me about the complicated nature of who he was, both as an artist as well as a person. Well, I feel like at least from what, from what little I know of him um, and what's in the film, I feel like um, we all have our demons, and I think his were pretty strong and intense, and he kind of rode a very wild ride for 29 years. And I mean, Tom has this great analogy that he's used before about him being, Hank Williams almost being like this incredible, beautiful firework that, that shines so bright for a second and then goes out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think he was a really complicated guy, kind of played fast and loose. I mean, he was a little bit of an alcoholic. And, a little bit. You know, I mean, I don't know. I feel like, how do you even go about talking about that? <laughs> There's um, certain degrees of alcoholism. Yeah, I feel like the politically correct way is to say he had a lot of demons. But I, I think he was trying to manage a lot, of, a lot of pain and things that he wasn't being filled with in his life. And they were the, very much so, I think, the things that he was thinking about.